This is the most expensive bed in town, and we need to preserve this space for those people that are truly a threat to you and I. There are 33,000 people that cycle in and out of here every year. The majority of them have made a mistake, have other compelling reasons that may have facilitated their challenges. We have to provide meal services, mental health, and medical services. A warm and safe facility. But that's about constitutionally all that we are required to provide. And I'm going to do it for each digit, okay, man? Here in Louisville, we're providing much more than that. We are the largest de facto mental health facility in the region. We are providing educational services, adult basic education. Uh, we are providing soft skills programs, uh, employability programs, reentry services. How are you doing? Historically, the role of corrections has never been helping individuals outside of jail. In 2015, Director Bolton recognized the need to help our familiar faces that keep cycling in and out of jail due to mental health issues, substance use issues, homelessness. So William Hensley is one of our very familiar faces. He has had 189 bookings into our jail alone. He said, Miss Manet, I just cannot do this anymore. I need help. I'll do anything. So he had a place to stay and he had a place to go receive extra treatment. But relapse is part of recovery. Come on out. So we're not giving up on William, although this morning he ended up in jail again. I messed up, but that's all right. My sponsor told me to watch out for this. You know what I'm saying? It's important to just pick up where we left off and move forward, right? Now. So uh, we decided to develop a discharge planning program. Bobby Price! But we're going to see. Hey, Bobby, how's it going? How we can learn from this experience. For majority of our population, it did not take them overnight to develop the addiction or overnight to lose, you know, everything or develop habits. They have a bad it just if you're eligible and they let me know. Okay, any questions? We're good. If we can cut the cycle of those individuals coming in and out of jail, it benefits taxpayers, it benefits our neighborhoods, community, it benefits every single one of us. What we're seeing through evaluation is that some of these initiatives are working and they're starting to show positive metrics, and they're starting to show a return on the investment. So this backpack was prepared for a female. Even if we're just giving seasonally appropriate clothes to someone upon their release and that's all they want, it's still helping. It's still helping them out there to know somebody cared enough. Captain Gilbert had 26 body cams out last night. This has been a team effort. We continue to, I think, develop positive relationships with the social service community. We're seeing the needle move in terms of validated success when everybody's working together normally doesn't take too long for the good of that individual in the community and you're seeing benefits and what's not to get excited about relative to that but there's so much further yet to go